Hey everybody, how's it going? I am Seth, and welcome back to another episode of Fallout 76. Um, the big plan in this video is for me to set up my base, uh, which I kind of messed up in my previous episode. But now I am somewhat familiar with uh, the building mechanics of the game, so hopefully we can get this one done right uh, at this time. Once I've done that, I'm going to go and explore the town ahead where everybody else seems to have gone. And hopefully we find some good stuff. At the moment, I'm just moving stuff around and hopefully they get moved around nicely. And we can finally finish off our base and then do some exploration, maybe do some looting as well. So if you folks enjoy this episode, please do not forget to support me on the channel by hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more similar content as Fallout 76 is certainly going to be a thing for me and this channel and it's here to stay. If you have subscribed, remember to hit that bell icon and why not check out some of my other videos. Also, for those interested in hanging out with me, you can always find me on the Septopia Discord. Links to this, of course, as always, can be found down below in the video description as well as in a pinned comment from myself. So with the intro out of the way, I am going to try and get this base done right for once. I just need to move all these bits and pieces around. Uh, I know I could store them. But at the moment, I'm playing around with the option of moving them around and just kind of getting used to the building mechanics. I'm probably doing it wrong and a lot of people are going to tell me that I'm doing it wrong. Oh, I see what the problem was. That's why I couldn't move it. So let's move this then. And then I'll move this one over oh crap, hold on. over to here, like so. Uh, I need to move that wall, uh, that one. Can I move? Hold on, yeah, okay. Hold on. Doing the wrong thing here. I want to move that wall. If you leave it down. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I'll set it up something like that for the moment, or maybe put it there. Okay, that's good enough. All right, for some reason it's not snapping on there. So, I'm going to move this here and leave it there for a second. And then put this there. Like so. Look at that. I need to level up. Okay, see how I'm going to go about this. Now, have I sorted out the issue Professor with Williams, the... Oh crap, what was that? With a snapping I'm issue, so I can go three that way. Um, do I want to do that? I don't want that. Right, I'll put that there then. Shit. Can do, can do that. I don't want it. Okay, it looks like I'm gonna have to drop this foundation somewhere and then to have to pick up another one. It's not seeming to. Work. I see what the problem was. <laughs> right, so I need to pick up the walls and. Uh, all the other bits and pieces before I actually move the foundations. It's actually good that it's not allowing me to do that, whereas in art, it normally just demolishes everything on top and you kind of lose the resources. So I do like that sort of safeguarding technique that they put in. Uh, it does help with or against wasting resources, which is not something I'm a big fan of. I do not like to waste resources. Aha! Okay, let's pick that one up, put it there. There's another foundation there, and so I want this to snap onto this. Do you snap? Do you oh, please don't tell me you're not going to snap. There we go. Pick that one up. Perfect. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I've done it. Right, let's pick these up. I'm going to put, um, where do I want to put my stash? I can leave it there and then put my my sleeping bag after it. So maybe I don't know. How do I want to place this? So maybe I can do that. But then it's I'm using up a lot of space. So I'm gonna place it in a corner. In reality, I'm not a big fan of beds being placed in corners, but. For the purpose of this game and this build, what I am achieving to do is, of course, I do want to economize on space. I do want to have as much space available as possible. Right, there's, uh, there's that that needs to move. 
We'll place that there because we do want a staircase going up to the top. Oh, sorry. There you go. Sorted. We'll take that and I'll place that there. And we have a spare foundation. But it is beginning to look like a good place to be. First things first, I need to rehydrate myself uh, as well as feed myself. So let's have a look at the goodies that we have on us. Let's feed ourselves and then rehydrate myself. Hopefully with this setup, I should be able to finish off my base rather quickly. I do want to set up a cooking station. That will allow me to process and prepare food for the journeys ahead. Okay, right. I should be okay. Um, what am I going to do with that foundation? It's kind of a bit of a useless piece of foundation. So, I might end up scrapping it. I could place it there. Uh, it doesn't do that much though. Doesn't help us a lot. Could have like a balcony kind of deal, but we don't have a door. My bad, we do have a door, not a door frame. <laughs> See, I can't place it there. Um, the thought did cross my mind to slightly expand my base, but yeah, nah, we'll be all right with what we have. I just need to get rid of this. So, I want to scrap you. There we go. Now, let's get some walls set up in this place. And fully enclose our structure. And it's somewhere this way now. Ah, there we go. That's one. Um, uh, okay, where do I want the exit? That's the problem. I do have a staircase that I can put up, which I will do. Let's have a look here. Oh, I can do that. Look at that. Sweet. So I'm going to put the staircase around there. Going on to that. Hopefully it should now snap on perfectly. If I can get it to do that. No, that's not the way I want you. Right place, wrong angle. Um, so. See, I want it like that. There. I uh, had it there for a sec. Oh, hold on. There we go. Sweet. Now, I need to finish off my enclosure and then maybe slightly expand the roof so I can have enough room to put up all the stuff that I want. Uh, where are the ceilings? Here we are. We don't want it there. We want it there. Look at that. It's beginning to look like a base. Okay, I like it that way. I want things to be aligned. That's not aligned. So how do we do that? Do I just move around? Um, aha! That's the way. Perfect. It's all aligned. I like it. So I'm going to slightly expand my ceiling by a tad bit. That should allow me to have enough space store all of my crafting station or I think in theory at least that's the idea ah, there, I snapped a bit there we go perfection all oh, right you can go out quite a bit well I'm not gonna do that though we'll just do that and place another one here hello aha so Ah, I'm out of materials. <laughs> I need to find some more wood. Don't need that much, though. But it is primarily built. We do have a staircase going up to the base. Just don't have a door and a door frame. Because there isn't a door frame to put up. So I need two more roofs. See, this looks pretty nice. I'm quite pleased with what I've done so far. I just need to find some more wood. Look at that. Isn't that the prettiest house you've ever seen? I think I'm going to leave it at that for the moment and uh, just going to go and do some exploration and see what we find around here. 
Otherwise, it'll just be another long video of me building stuff. And uh, while I do actually enjoy the building side in this game, it is quite fun. And I do like seeing all of the possibilities. I do realize that some of you guys watching this might find it somewhat boring. So let's go and kill some stuff. And do some looting as well. Definitely got to do some looting. What's this? Oh, hello. You alright there, buddy? I know you're dead, but... Oh, well. Water. Okay. Take one radiation damage. Okay. Uh, I cannot wait to set up one of those fountains in my base or next to my base. That's going to help me out so damn much. Fire hydrant. Green. County. Lodge. What's this? Okay, there's nothing there. I just realized that as I was building my stuff, I did not use my light. And so, therefore, the video may possibly be slightly on the darker end. Ding, ding. Hello? Anybody? No? Fine. Have it your way. Let's see. I'm just robbing you blind. Rules? Somebody? Anybody? That's fine. Ooh, hello. <laughs> okay. Well, somebody got to that guy before me. Let's see what we have in here. Ooh, this is a gym, isn't it? I'll take that. And, uh... Uh, well, why not? Might as well have a used cigarette. You don't know when you want a drag. You know, this, uh... This very polluted and radiated uh, world might be a bit more at times, so more than we can handle. So a nice cigarette might always help us calm down our nerves, I guess. Paintbrush. Nuka-Cola machine. Ooh, something's got it. Ooh, step back. I like that. That's good. I've noticed that there is a bit of a visual, um, a graphical stuttering lag, if you will. That is a bit annoying. I have played around with the settings since my previous video, but it doesn't seem to make much of a difference. Um, so I'll have a look later into that and see if there's anything I can do to improve that. I do hope that it does not show up on the recording as much. But whilst I am playing the game, I am actually getting somewhat of a stutter going on. See, there we go. That was a bit of a stutter there. Hopefully, it's not too bad for you guys watching. Hello, hello. I hope you guys are enjoying the pool. Because I will not be going in there. Normally, water tends to be irradiated. And I do not take or do not want to take radiation damage to be more specific. Okay. These doors are boarded up. There's nothing there. What are you doing? Well, enjoy the swim. I'm not going in there. I'll take that, though. And... Take that. Anything in there? Nope. It's kind of pointless just having that amount of space for drinks in there, whereas the whole refrigerator is just huge. But... Hey. I guess in this uh, reality... You don't really need that much storage in your refrigerator. You just need a big machine, a big box, with a small, insignificant amount of uh, storage space. Because it's more logical that way, you know? I'll take that. Lobby pin, that's going to help us uh, break into things that we should not be breaking into. I press the button. Ooh. I 
knew my prayers were answered. My husband, Frank, used to work in the mines. Even just a bit before the war, there was news of the tremors. He didn't come home. I don't know what happened to him or why he never came home for sure. And between you and me, I'm fine with that. Since the war, I've just read my old newspapers and listened to music. It's very peaceful for once, which is just right nice by me. You ever hear of the Watoga Times Atomic Lottery? The winner got ten years worth of Blamco mac and cheese, and Salisbury steak, and, and Nuka-Cola, of course. I played that lottery for twenty years, and I finally won the month before the war. It lasted only eight years, though. But who can you complain to? By the time it ran out, I had heard the responders' radio broadcast, so I went out to find them and get supplies. Bless their hearts. Well, I'm going home now. For a bit, anyways. How do I turn this thing off? Blast these things. Not this button. Not this one. Oh, oh, here it is. <laughs> that was quite nice. I like that. I didn't want to talk over it because I kind of wanted to listen what to to what was going on. Definitely, definitely like that. Nice touch to the game. Uh, at the moment, I'm actually exploring quite chaotic. I I don't really have a plan for exploring this town, but overall, I do want to explore it in as much detail as humanly possible. Oh, hello, ammunition. That's always good. Is that somebody talking, or is that part of the game? Yeah, I think that's somebody talking. Um, let's have a look here. What do we got? A bit dark. Oh, hello. Bye. Take that as a wheel. That's not when you could go. And there's... Oh, hello. I cannot unlock that. I cannot wait for the day where I can actually unlock safes and vault and all that. Gonna love the lock picking in this game. Let's see. What else have we got here? Some coffins. It's a bit dark, so let's turn on the lights. Are you trading? Are you selling stuff? Hello. Yeah, I'll take all that stuff. <laughs> Not like you're gonna need it anymore. So what's that? Okay, it's, uh, no, we don't really want to pick that up. Take that. Oh, I can take the fan. That's good. You can always break that down for its parts. Alrighty, well... Rip, mate, rip. How long have you been here for? I do not know. Uh, quite honestly, don't quite care. But uh, you do have some stuff that I could use. Oh, remember them. Okay, uh, I'll try and do that. I can't promise that, though. But I can say that I'll try. <laughs> Alright, what have we got? Ooh, hello. I'm just outside, anyway. Yo-ho. Crafting station. Let's uh, break down all my junk. Is there anything I can pick up before that, though? All right. At the moment, I still need to gather some more stuff before I actually start breaking stuff down into its basic resource. And uh, once I do that, hopefully I should have some resources to be able to build some other stuff. Oh, hello. Okay, we'll take all the stuff that we can get. Ooh, stem pack. That's a good thing to have. What? Ooh, ha ha ha. Overseer's Lock, town of Flatwoods. 
Good stuff. I like that. My God. There's no one here. The old tavern, the church. People were using them for shelter, but they're gone. Mutations we expected. We call it the Great War now. It's not been long. And things have been rough. Welcome to Survivor Stories. I'm Dr. Ben Ami, a responder. I've been working with the responders for a couple years now. Oil. I'm from Charleston, originally, so it's easy to join up. Equipment sterilization. Well, it wasn't easy, it was work. Assist. Rebuilding Appalachia from the rubble while survivors flock to us regularly from all over. So many have come and gone. Their stories untold, their names lost to time. I thought we should preserve this history somehow. I've decided to ask people to record their thoughts, their stories, anything they want to preserve forever. I'll call this series the Survivor Stories. I'll start with me. I was an anthropology PhD student at Vault Tech University. Final year. I was printing my thesis when I heard the siren. I thought for sure my father, a Vault Tech employee, could take us all with him. Sorry, I was just looking at the two reservations came through. I refused to go. Yeah, I was walking to the floor because I had to press the button. Went to the vault. Ah, mystery solved. Could not persuade me, though they tried. In the end, I pushed them inside, and that was it. If you need to survive, I went back home to Charleston and well, survived. Right, I'm just waiting on you, bro. Eventually, the responders formed, and I signed up right away. It was so hard. Wow, yo, flood. Why not grab a devastating or relocating to Morgantown Airport and now check in with the self-service kiosk. I'll wait for you. Dasa asked me if I would talk about um how I got here. She asked everybody, so I said okay. My name, my name's Colonel. And I'm 13 years old. I, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. Um, the bombs and the messed up people and the cows with two heads and all of it. With bad smarts and a little bad. So what do you want to do? Do you want to do the second helpings? Go have a look for someone, or do you fancy just having a look in the agriculture? Okay, side? well, I was enjoying the stories and listening to that, but obviously, yeah, the other people talking. In the background, it's a bit um, distracting. Let's call it that. Ten dead flies a day in order to grow muscles and put Nuka Cola in the rat cage water bottles at the pet store. I just wanted to say I'm sorry about everything. All right, so time to break down some of these bits of junk that I have gathered and uh, turn it into raw materials for later usage. Okay, um, I didn't really want to talk too much whilst the holotape was going on. It's quite interesting. We get to actually find out about people's lives uh, after the nukes came fallen. Nice. Well voice acted. I did really enjoy that. <laughs> I'm probably not going to spend a lot of time talking over the holotapes just because I want to listen to what the messages I I find them very interesting and quite informative about the world that I'm playing in so I like the fact that Fallout's done that and there's not that much reading involved I don't get me wrong I, don't, I, I, I like reading and all that but it's always a bit extra when you get the good voice acting and stuff is voice acted so definite bonus there for me I like it and so far, I do like the game. Okay, it's got a few issues. Uh, 
with the frames at the moment it just randomly drops and i'll go from 60 frames to 25 frames uh, 16 it stutters around there that goes back up to 60 frames so that will need a bit of a uh, looking into also i've noticed as i'm breaking down stuff that my inventory weight is also going down so that is quite a bit of a benefit there that means i can actually break stuff down and reduce my inventory weight at the moment i'm not quite sure what sort of items and uh, raw materials i'll need and what they're used for but i guess i will find out in due time also as a separate note uh i've not fully explored this little town yet and uh i can say that i'm quite pleasantly surprised with the available amount of exploration anyways what i'm going to be doing now i'm going back to my base and i want to drop off all of my junk uh and by junk of course i do mean all of the raw materials that i've gathered so far that is going to come in handy at a later time i am sure of that um if i'm to go off of fallout 4 pretty much all the stuff that you gathered had a purpose at some point and look at that look at my base isn't that the prettiest thing in the world i know it looks like a box and uh doesn't have a lot of stuff but uh yes it's a base i have a base that's amazing i love it uh, okay hold on a bit um so i want to transfer all the stuff i'm not going to use uh, I'm probably going to drop off some of the melee weapons and weapons that I don't want to use. I did find a nice baseball bat, so that's going to come in handy. We've got bone. Uh, we've got these things. These are edibles and consumables. I've got a burnt book, and I don't know why I've got it. <laughs> got a carrot there. Oh, hello. We can drop that off. I've got some circuitry. I'm guessing this will come in handy for the electronics and all the other stuff at a later time anyways um once i finish dropping off all my stuff or even as i drop off all the stuff i am going to do the outro here as this is the end of this particular video so do join me in the next episode if you folks have enjoyed it please do not forget to support me and the channel by hitting that like button subscribe to the channel for more similar content from myself and if you have just subscribed remember to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when i upload new videos also if you have just subscribed why not check out some of my other videos here on the channel who knows you might just enjoy them and finally for those interested in hanging out with me you can always find me on the sethtopia discord links to this of course can be found down below in the video's description as well as in a pinned comment until next time, stay safe, folks.